Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Tyrone Southern's Kitchen. We're back today with another video. Today we're gonna be doing another peach cobbler graham cracker. I have one already on 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 my channel, but I'm doing another one because I want my thumbnail to be up there. So that's what we're doing today. We're doing a. You want the uh, this, uh, recipe? You have to go in the description box. In other words, you have to subscribe to get the recipe. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. We're using these types of peaches here. I have however many cans I use in the description box. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull my peaches in. Get them in, turn my stove on. I'm gonna go ahead and put my butter in. I go ahead and put my cinnamon. My cinnamon in. How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing lovely. It is a lovely day today. I hope everybody's well. I got my cinnamon in. And next, I'm going to go ahead and put my brown sugar in. Let me get us a stir first. Move that around a little bit. Go ahead and put my sugar in. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. We're glad to be back this morning. We had a pretty long day yesterday. Pretty long day yesterday. But we got through it. We finally got through it. And also, I'm using this. Uh, this is the type of pie crust I'm using right here. If two comes in this box here, I have to use both sleeves. And I'm also using, I almost forgot. I almost forgot. I'm using this type of uh, uh, graham cracker crust right here. This is the one I'm using right here. They didn't have the big one. I wanted to get the big one. Seems like they don't, they, 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 they have it one day and then, and the next day, they don't, things. Just moving off the shelves. I said I noticed everything kind of getting short. Just like everything is going up. God knows everything is going up. Everything going up but the paycheck. Good gracious. But anyway, life goes on. We got to keep living. So I'm going. I got my stove on high right now. I got it on high because I want it to come on up to a boil on the peaches. And once that start, I'm gonna turn it down on medium. A medium low and uh and let it just keep simmering from there then i'm gonna come back and uh make up a slurry with some flour and, and water to thicken the juice because i don't i want the the uh juice thick kind of a little thicker than what it's gonna be if i don't do that so it's starting to boil it's starting to it, the temperature starting to change right now. Put that over there. But well, something I mean, with the cobbler I'm making here today, well, it's going to have a, quite a few peaches in it. And some people don't like a, a lot of peaches in their peach cobbler. So when you fix your peach cobbler, you have to fix it to your liking. It. Even with the sweetness, some people like it real, real sweet. Some people don't. So whatever the description, whatever recipe I have on this uh, on the description box, you determine how much you want to put in your peach cobbler. Okay? You do that. You the one gonna be eating it. I'm showing you how to cook it. That's what I'm doing. I'm showing you how to make it. That the the, uh, the graham cracker crust right here. See this graham cracker crust right here. This right here, when I put my other layer of crust on top of this, and I'm going to cook it, as yeah, you're going to see what I'm going to do. But what I'm saying, when I put when, when I put the, the peaches and everything in, and once it's final finish, this crack, this crust right here is still going to be whole. It ain't going to be wet or nothing. It's going to be stuck to the other crust. When you cut this peach cobbler, you're going to be able to taste the graham cracker whole. You're going to be able to cut it just like you're cutting out a slice of pie. 
and you're going to be able to taste the graham cracker in this peach cobbler. That's the whole object of what I'm doing here. This is a million dollar pie. A million dollar pie. That's why you got to subscribe to get this recipe. So what we're going to do now since our top stove here it ain't quite came up to a boil yet. That's what I'm waiting on. And we're going to go over here and we're going to roll out one of our crusses. And uh, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do over there on the other side. Just stay tuned. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. Now we, what we're going to do now, we're going to go ahead and stretch out our pie crust. We're going to go ahead and stretch that out. It's a procedure, how I do this right here. I got me some uh, wax paper and I got me some flour laid out on top. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and peel and get the, peel this off, the pie crust off the, off the get it started. Then we're gonna come along. We're gonna come along and set our hands on the end of the pie crust. Hold it down while you roll it out. Hold it down just like this and while you roll it out. Just like this. Roll it out. You don't want no holes in the, in the bottom crust. It don't matter if you have holes on that top crust because you're going to punch holes in the top anyway for it can breathe when it cook. So, what we're going to do now, we're going to go ahead and lift our pie crust up. We're going to remove these. Wipe this wax paper here and put it to the side because we're going to need it again. We'll do the other one. So we're going to put this off to the side. Then we're going to grab our pie crust. And what we're going to do here now, we're going to lay this pie crust in the bottom on the top of this uh, uh, graham cracker crust here. Just like this right here. Then once we do that, then we're going to come and tuck it, tuck it all the way around. Tuck it in all the way around. Just like that duck. I see a little hole in the pie crust, so I got to patch that up. So you get a little hole in it, you can always patch it up by getting a little piece off, off the edge. And uh, you can patch the bottom up because you don't want that the, the juice to uh, go through this crust here and then it'll dissolve your bottom crust and that's you don't want that so that's what you're doing then we're gonna get our pizza cutter we're gonna get our pizza cutter and we're gonna cut around the edge all the way around this pie it's easier to do it with a pizza cutter to me it is than anything else all around the edge just like that duck real quick and simple all the way around the edge now if this would have been the bigger uh crust you wouldn't have nothing but a little bit to trim off the edges because it would have been a bigger crust but since this is the smallest one that they sell i wasn't i was looking for the bigger one but they didn't have it like i said we have to get what we can get when we can get it, so that's what we got. So we're going on around here just like this with this pizza cutter. And we peel the excess crust off it around the side. We go along and we make sure sometimes you can go along, you can cut just a little further back because it's a lid gonna go on top of this. You want to cut first back if possible for you could for you can uh put the lid on once it cool off and once it's done and cool off so after you eat what you're gonna eat you can also come back and put your lid on so that's what we're doing now we're trimming it a little much more and, and then what we're gonna do 
Okay, seem like that's taken care of. We're gonna get rid of this SS crust. And what we're gonna do now, we're gonna get our butter. We're gonna get our butter and our brush. And we, we're gonna brush the, the inside of this pie here with butter. And the reason we are doing this, because we're gonna put this in the oven on boil the top eye to cook this pie crust here. We're cooking this pie crust here. Even the peaches that we're gonna put in here, they're gonna be completely done. You want your peaches completely done. And I show you as I go what I'm doing. So pay attention to what I'm doing. So when you start cooking your peach cobbler and it don't come out right, if it don't come out right, it's because you didn't pay attention to what I'm doing. So pay attention to what I'm doing. Now I got this uh, bottom piece I'm coated real good with butter. Now we got our, we gonna turn our stove on boil. The, oh, the top eye only, not the bottom eye, the top eye. And we gonna use it, we gotta keep your eyes on it. And we wanna cook this, make this the bottom part here done. Then we gonna take it out. By that time, well, peaches got a little more time to cook, but once, by the time I get ready to put the peaches in, like I say, the peaches got to be all the way cooked, all the way through. So we're going to go ahead and slide this in the oven now. Slide that in the oven now. What we're doing now, ladies and gentlemen, we're making a slurry to uh, put in here to thicken up our peaches. And when you put your flour and water in, you want to stir it up real good so it don't be no lumps in it. There won't no lumps in it. Stir it up real good. So we're gonna come along, we're gonna pull that our slur in. Then right here no thickening it up, thickening up the gravy here. Got it nice and thick. Mm-hmm. Okay. So now we got our pie crust in the oven and it's cooking. And stay tuned. We'll be back at you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. What we're doing now, we're going to go ahead and lay out our other, our last pie crust. We're going to do it the same as we did the first piece. We got it started. Hold our hands on the edge. Roll it on out. Just like that there. Roll it on out. Just like that there. Just like that there. Roll it on out. Roll it on out, just like that. That's what we want right there. So what we're gonna do now, our pie crust is still in the oven. We're gonna go ahead and get our bottom pan, our bottom pan that we're gonna set our pie, our pie in. And the reason you wanna sit your pie in a pan is because you don't want nothing uh, uh, leaking into your oven. So you're going to sit it in a pan to keep it from leaking it into the oven. That's what we're doing. So as soon as our, our crust get done on the top, we're going to go ahead and lay out our crust right here. Put our peaches in. And I'm going to show you how to put the peaches in. It's a step of how you do that. So I'm going to show you how to do that as well. So pay attention to how I do what I'm do what I'm doing. So when you make your first cobbler, it'll come out just right, and you can tell the world. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back, and uh, what we're doing now, we got a spoon that has a hole in it. Reason we got this spoon because we want all the juice. To, not we don't want to put all the juice in in the cobbler now. We just get want to get all the peaches in. So this is what we're doing now. We're gonna come along and uh, get our peaches in first. The peaches are already done. So what you're doing, once I get all these peaches in, I'm gonna pour some more juice in here. And uh, we're gonna put our top layer on, 
butter it up, put some cinnamon on it, and then put a little sugar on it. Then we're going to put it in the oven and cook the top. And the peach cobbler will be done. It will be done. Make sure I get all my peaches out of here. Just like that there. Now I get my little rag. What I want to do, I want to post some of this juice in here. Just like that there. Just like that there. Then what we're going to do, we're going to get our other layer of our other crust. And we're gonna lay this crust on top of on top like that there. Just like that there. Then we're gonna get our pizza cutter. Get our pizza cutter. And we're gonna lift up the edge so we can get started. Show, show us where we start cutting. And we're gonna follow the circle. All the way around. All the way around, just like that there. Just like that there, ladies and gentlemen. Just like that there, all the way around. So you don't mind by the top part having holes in it because you're going to put holes in it anyway. Like I said, you need your pot of brick to be able to breathe as it cook. Just don't want no holes on the bottom part. So now we peel back this SS right here, what we got going on here. Just like that there, we get our brush and butter. What we're gonna do, we're gonna brush the top like this here. This is what's gonna make it golden brown. We'll brush the top just like this here. Then we're gonna come along. We're gonna sprinkle a little cinnamon on top. We're going to put some holes in it, and we're going to put a little sugar on top. Just like that there. A little cinnamon. Holes. Just like this, huh, ladies and gentlemen. Then we're going to get a little sugar. Sprinkle on top, just like that there. Now, it's going in the oven. You can't walk away from your oven now. You got to stay here until the oven. You walk away, it's going to burn on you. You don't want that. I burnt the last one I had. So you stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back at you and show you the final results. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the pot just came out the oven. And this is what we have. This is what we have right here. So I'm going to let it cool down for about five or ten minutes. And I'm going to cut it. And show you how the inside look. But first, we got to cool down. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut this pot. We're going to go ahead and dive into it. Just like that there. Go ahead and dive into it. Just like that there. We're going to get us a spoon. 
might get a little bit over the stove. Just a spoon. I'm gonna go in at the bottom. I'm gonna scoop it out. Just like that there. Just like that there. You see the graham cracker right here? It's still intact at the bottom there. See it right there? See it's still intact. That's the graham cracker. I ain't let it cool long enough before it broke up, up on me like that. But ladies and gentlemen, this is our graham cracker peach cobbler. Subscribe at my channel. Put a thumbs up. Ring the bell for you to be notified. You can also donate to this channel. Cash out. Capital T. Y. Fish. Capital T. Y. Fish. Six to five. Everyone have a nice day. And peace.